Major League Baseball returns tomorrow all across this country, but when the Rangers play in Arlington next week, it is expected to be in front of a sold out crowd. And that's one of the first since the pandemic began. Our Jason Allen reporting that the team knows the sports world will be paying close attention. Whoa, after a couple nights of exhibitions, Globe Life Field is days away from its year-delayed opening day. With only a couple thousand tickets still to be sold, the new stadium is expected to be packed. We said, you know, let's, let's try. We've got the practices in place. Let's go forward. Rangers Vice President Rob Matwick said Wednesday he knows people will be paying attention. However, after holding graduations, playoff games, and rodeos, the team felt it could start the season safely while reinforcing protocols like masks, distancing, and cleaning. That, that's the balance. I mean, it was easy to say, hey, let's sell everything we have. But that reality is we also understand there's an obligation among all of us to do it in a safe way. Not everything about the baseball experience will be the same. Masks will be required. No large bags will be allowed in. You can't use cash to pay for anything. The beer guy and hot dog vendor also won't be walking down the aisles this year, though they will deliver food ordered on an app. And you won't find any inventive new food items on the menu. The things that you hear in the song, you know, the Cracker Jacks and, and, and peanuts and popcorn, you know, those are the things that, you know, we're hoping that fans will, have been missing and are coming back to enjoy. Complicated food can lead to long lines, and there was some uncertainty about how the season was going to begin. It will feel and look a little different, but it will still be baseball. So, I mean, there is a safe way and a responsible way to conduct events. In Arlington, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.